Salam Aleikum. I'm Mike Feuer, the Los Angeles City Attorney. Welcome to Los Angeles. For the next convention, we should all be together in person. As you convene this year, we reflect on where we've been as a community and as a nation and where we're headed. I vividly recall the night in 2017 when the Trump administration put the Muslim travel ban in place. That night, I rushed to LAX to try to get the detainees released. I've never been angrier in my professional life. It felt like our nation's deepest values were slipping away. The top Trump administration official in charge of executing the ban refused to meet with me. For hours, I tried to contact federal officials who I thought could help, but none did. In the meantime, there were hundreds of protesters at that airport. As the night wore on, one of them beckoned me. My father is being detained, she told me. He has Parkinson's disease. I don't think he has his medication. You have to help him. Eventually, it became clear to the Trump official that I wasn't going anywhere, and he met with me. Are you honoring the new court order not to deport the detainees, I asked? Not at liberty to say, he responded. How many detainees are there? I can't tell you. Where are they? I want to see them now. I can't let you do that. At this point, I told him about the detained dad with Parkinson's. I said the Constitution mattered to him right then. I have an airport to run, he replied. I called my chief of staff at midnight, and hours later, lawyers assembled in my office, ready to take action. My office since has led or actively participated in many, many lawsuits challenging Trump directives. Because this is America, where the Constitution counts, where we stand up for each other. I've been privileged to speak many times at Friday afternoon prayers at the Islamic Center and LA mosques, to join with the community at rallies, to speak to lawyers from the Muslim American community offering pro bono help to residents in need. And it was wonderful to team up with the Islamic Center to host a multicultural festival featuring different faith communities. We need this solidarity and mutual respect more than ever. We've seen how hate has fomented brutal attacks and incidents targeting so many diverse peoples, including Asian Americans, Jews, members of the LGBTQ community, and Muslims. Hate crimes rose 20% in LA County last year, driven by a surge in racially motivated attacks. The 635 hate crimes in 2020, well, that was the highest number since 2008. The Council on American-Islamic Relations reported a new high in the bullying of Muslim children in California schools. 55% of students 11 to 18 feel unsafe, unwelcome, or uncomfortable at school because of their Muslim identity. This is the highest level since 2013. We must do better. And as we continue to work closely together, we will, not because we tolerate each other. Tolerance means there's something we don't like, but we'll learn to live with it. No, our highest values must be mutual respect, understanding, and appreciation. We must live in a city and in a nation for which this is more than an aspiration. Together, we need to make it come true. Have a meaningful and rewarding convention.